Hello and welcome to The Upshot for uh, Tuesday, August the 9th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, today's reports have come from REA Group, News Corp, Coronado, Global Resources, Megaport, Charter Hall and Reckon. Well, let's take a closer look at today's top three. REA Group uh, has increased its net profit from core operations by 25% up to over $405 million. The company also marginally growing its revenue. Looking ahead to the 23 fiscal year, REA expecting to see its total group operating costs to increase to low double digits and expects losses in its India operations to widen. Providing its outlook for the Australian property market, REA expecting to see further moderation in a rising interest rate environment. And here's what the Chief Executive, Owen Wilson, had to say. There's still a lot of buyers in the market. Uh, we had our record audience levels in July, uh, the highest um, we've seen since March this year. And interestingly, we delivered over around about 2 million buyer inquiries to our customers in July. And unfortunately for our tenants, we're seeing rents increase double digit in many parts of the Australian uh, market. And that is going to increase. What that will do is that will inevitably attract more investors back to the market. And Jardin has provided its view of the results, saying in part the outlook comments are encouraging with expectations of strong yield from debt to product uptake in Australia to help navigate REA through the listings headwind from a softer property market, saying it's got an overweight rating on the stock with a price target there of $133 a share. Elsewhere, Reckon has reported a net profit of $6 million, a 5% bump on the previous corresponding period looking ahead. Reckon is focusing on advancing its growth across its business and legal groups through the launch of new cloud products, investing $11 million in research and development. And Megaport's full year loss coming in at $48 million, an improvement on last year's $55 million loss. Revenue increasing by 40% to just shy of $110 million. It will not pay a dividend. And that is today's Upshot. Thanks for joining us.